Say goodbye to poor circulation. Discover 5 game-changing tips. Imagine each morning being greeted not by a refreshing start but by a cold, numbing feeling in your toes as you slide out of bed. What if this isn't just a passing feeling of discomfort but a constant barrier to your daily activities like jogging or even shopping due to poor blood flow to your legs? Statistics reveal that up to one-third of adults suffer from anemia to the limbs, especially the feet. This problem goes beyond mere discomfort, it can escalate into serious health risks, including the fear of possible limb loss. It is a silent epidemic that is both widespread and profound. Therefore, Today's video is not only informative but also life-saving. This video covers the top 5 ways to increase circulation in your legs. Solving this problem is about more than just comfort, it's about proactive health management. From simple exercises to rest tips and more, gaining this knowledge can dramatically change your life. Let's start the video with us. 1. Weight Control Overweight and obesity are not only a matter of appearance but also have a profound impact on health, especially blood circulation in the feet. When weight exceeds normal levels, the body is subjected to great pressure, especially in the lower body. This can lead to poor circulation in the feet, an issue that gets little attention but has a significant impact on overall health. Research shows that losing just 5-10% to of body weight can significantly improve blood flow to the feet. For example, a person weighing 90 kilograms, if they lose 4.5 to 9 kilograms, can increase blood flow to the feet by up to 30%. What few people know is that being overweight or obese can also cause swollen feet when fluid accumulates in the feet and ankles, increasing the risk of infection and ulcers. In addition, overweight people tend to be sedentary, which further aggravates poor blood circulation. A recent study shows that for every one unit increase in BMI, the risk of venous leg disease increases by 4%. This is an alarming number, showing the close connection between weight and circulatory health. To improve this situation, there are some tips that few people know but are very effective. Instead of focusing on heavy exercises, start with a gentle 10-minute walk after each meal. This not only helps control weight but also stimulates blood circulation. Another tip is to use spices like ginger and cinnamon in your daily diet. Just one gram of ginger a day can help boost metabolism and reduce cravings. In particular, drinking warm lemon water with a little honey in the morning can help speed up the process of burning excess fat. A cup of warm lemon water, about 250 milliliters, contains only 11 calories but provides one-third of the daily amount of vitamin C needed, helping to strengthen the immune system and effectively support weight loss. So did you know, in addition to weight control, is there a daily habit that can significantly improve blood circulation to the feet while also supporting the weight loss process? 2. Quit smoking. First of all, let's learn together about the harmful effects of smoking on blood circulation in the feet. Did you know that smoking not only harms the lungs but also seriously affects the entire circulatory system of the body? Scientific research has shown that nicotine and thousands of toxic substances in cigarettes damage blood vessels, causing them to shrink and reduce their ability to transport blood to the limbs. In particular, the feet, the parts furthest from the heart, are often the most severely affected. One thing that few people expect is that just by smoking one cigarette, blood flow to the feet can decrease by up to 25% within an hour. This explains why many smokers often have cold, numb, or painful feet. Furthermore, this harm does not stop there. Smoking increases the risk of peripheral artery disease, a condition in which the arteries in the legs narrow, reducing blood flow to the feet and legs. In severe cases, this can lead to gangrene and amputation. Another notable piece of information is that the harmful effects of smoking on blood circulation can last even after you quit smoking. Research from the University of California shows that former smokers are still 2.6 times more likely to develop peripheral artery disease than non-smokers, even after 20 years of quitting. This shows the importance of quitting smoking as soon as possible to protect long-term health. A special point to note is that the harmful effects of tobacco on blood circulation are even more dangerous than alcohol. While drinking alcohol in moderation may have some positive effects on the heart, Smoking even small amounts is harmful to the entire circulatory system. For example, 
One study found that smoking just five cigarettes a day can increase the risk of coronary artery disease by 40%. So how to improve this situation? First and foremost is to quit smoking. I know this isn't easy, but there are a few little-known tips that can help. Instead of trying to quit smoking completely all at once, you can try the tapering method. Start by delaying your first cigarette of the day for as long as possible. For example, if you usually smoke right after waking up, try delaying it by 30 minutes, then 1 hour, and so on. Another tip is to use the 4D rule, delay, deep breath, drink water, and do something else every time you feel like smoking. You can also try nicotine replacement methods with nicotine gum or patches, which help reduce cravings without being as harmful to your health as cigarettes. Another little-known tip is to use a mobile app to track your quitting progress. There are many free apps that can help you track the number of days you've gone smoke-free, the money you've saved, and the health improvements you've made. This can greatly motivate you in the process of quitting smoking. Finally, don't forget the importance of support from family and friends. Share your determination to quit smoking with those around you and ask them to help and encourage you throughout the process. You can also join quit smoking support groups, where you can share experiences and receive encouragement from people in the same situation. So what about other ways to improve blood circulation to the feet? Besides quitting smoking, there is also a simple but extremely effective method that many people often ignore. Can you guess what it is? It is an activity that we can do every day, helping to improve overall health and especially improve blood circulation. 3. Exercise regularly. First of all, we need to clearly understand what lazy exercise is so that we can understand how important exercise is for the blood vessels of our feet. It's not just about not going to the gym or not participating in sports activities, but also includes a sedentary lifestyle in general, like sitting too long in front of the computer, watching TV for long hours, etc., or even use the elevator instead of taking the stairs. All of these habits contribute to reducing our daily physical activity and as a result negatively affect our health especially blood circulation in the limbs. The most special feature of lack of exercise that few people know about is its impact on worsening blood circulation in the feet. You can imagine the feet as the most distant lands of the body, where the bloodstream has to travel the longest distance to reach. When we are sedentary, the heart has to work harder to pump blood to these distant areas, and as a result, blood flow to the feet is significantly reduced. According to a study published in the American Journal of Sport Medicine in 2020, people who lead a sedentary lifestyle, sitting more than 8 hours a day, have a 78% higher risk of developing blood circulation problems in the legs, compared to people who exercise regularly. This not only leads to symptoms such as cold, numb legs, but can also increase the risk of serious conditions such as deep vein thrombosis. However, the good news is that we can easily improve this condition by increasing exercise. Regular exercise not only helps strengthen the heart, but also stimulates the contraction of leg muscles, creating a natural muscle pump that helps push blood back to the heart more effectively. For example, a study from the University of Copenhagen found that people who participated in a 30-minute daily jogging program for 8 weeks had a 35% improvement in blood flow in their feet compared to a control group. Now, let me explore some special information that few people know about this issue. Did you know that sitting posture also significantly affects blood circulation in the legs? Research from the University of California, Berkeley shows that sitting with your legs crossed can reduce blood flow to your feet by up to 40% after just 15 minutes. This shows the importance of changing positions regularly when sitting for long periods of time. Another interesting thing is the connection between hydration and blood circulation. According to a study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, people who drink enough water, about 2 to 3 liters per day, have 25% better blood flow in their limbs than people who are regularly dehydrated. This is because water helps thin the blood, helping it circulate more easily through the small blood vessels in the feet. Now, I will share with you some specific tips and little-known advice to improve this condition, focusing on increasing exercise and supporting blood circulation. First, try applying the 52 to 17 rule. That means working intensively for 52 minutes, then spending 17 minutes doing light exercise. You can use these 17 minutes to walk around the office, climb stairs, or do some simple stretching exercises. 
Second, integrate small amounts of exercise into your daily routine. For example, when brushing your teeth in the morning and at night, you can stand on one leg, then switch legs. This not only helps improve balance but also stimulates blood circulation in the legs. Another interesting tip is to use a movement clock. This is an app on your phone or smartwatch that reminds you to get up and move once every hour. Research from the University of Utah shows that people who use exercise watches spend 50 minutes less sitting time per day than those who do not use them. Next is a very necessary step in ensuring good blood circulation in the legs, please continue with me. 4. Massage Foot massage is not simply a way to relax, but also a scientific therapy with many unexpected health benefits. Did you know that just 15 minutes of foot massage a day can increase blood flow by up to 25%? The special thing about foot massage lies in its ability to stimulate acupuncture points and directly impact blood vessels, helping blood circulate better from the feet to the heart. Unlike conventional exercise methods, massage can be performed even while you are resting, working at your desk or watching TV. One thing that few people know is that foot massage also helps reduce stress and improve sleep. Research shows that 10 minutes of foot massage before bed can help you sleep 30 minutes deeper than usual. In particular, massage also stimulates the production of endorphins, happy hormones, helping to reduce pain and strengthen the immune system. A study at the University of Miami demonstrated that regular massage can increase the number of lymphocytes, cells that protect the body from disease, by up to 30%. To have an effective foot massage, you should start by gently rubbing the entire foot for 2-3 to three minutes to warm and relax the muscles. Next, use your thumb to press and rotate each point on the sole of your foot, paying special attention to the heel and toe areas, for about 10-15 to 15 seconds at each point. A good tip is to use coconut oil or moisturizer to increase effectiveness and avoid friction. Don't forget to massage the instep and toes, gently pulling and rotating each toe. End the massage by stroking from the toes to the ankles to promote blood circulation to the heart. A secret that few people know is to use a tennis ball to roll under the soles of the feet, helping to stimulate acupuncture points and effectively increase blood circulation. So what other methods can help increase blood circulation in the legs naturally and easily, especially suitable for tired days after a long day of work? 5. Soak your feet in warm water. Let's dive deeper into one last extremely effective method for improving blood circulation in your feet, soaking your feet in warm water. This is not only a common way to relax, but also a therapy with a solid scientific basis, recommended by many medical experts. When you soak your feet in warm water, the temperature dilates blood vessels, significantly increasing blood flow to the legs and feet. This process not only helps reduce pain and fatigue, but also boosts metabolism, eliminates toxins, and improves overall foot health. A recent study conducted at Johns Hopkins University of Medicine found that soaking your feet in warm water for just 15 minutes a day can increase blood flow in your feet by up to 35%. This number is truly impressive and is especially useful for people with blood circulation problems, diabetes, or those who have to stand for long periods of time during the day. Unlike massage, another popular method to improve circulation, soaking your feet in warm water does not require complicated techniques and can be easily done at home without the help of others. While massage focuses on stimulating specific points on the foot and requires some knowledge of anatomy, a foot bath provides a more comprehensive and even effect on the entire foot and leg. Furthermore, adding natural ingredients to the soaking water can provide many additional benefits. For example, adding 100 g of Epsom salt to foot bath water not only helps relax muscles but also provides magnesium to the body through absorption through the skin. Magnesium is an important mineral for cardiovascular and nervous system health, with research showing that just one Epsom salt foot soak can increase blood magnesium levels by 35%. An interesting thing that few people know is that soaking your feet in warm water can also significantly improve sleep quality. Research from the U.S. National Sleep Foundation shows that warming your feet before bed can help you fall asleep more easily and sleep more deeply, with the time it takes to fall asleep by an average of 15 minutes. This is because the foot bath process helps regulate body temperature, creating favorable conditions for the production of melatonin, an important hormone that regulates the sleep-wake cycle. To maximize the benefits of foot baths, try these tips.
the ideal time to soak your feet is in the evening, about 1 to 2 hours before going to bed. This not only helps you relax after a long day but also takes advantage of the effect of improving sleep. The water temperature should be 38 to 40 degrees Celsius, warm enough to feel comfortable and stimulate blood circulation but not too hot to cause burns or skin irritation. The optimal soaking time is 15 to 20 minutes, enough to enjoy the benefits without dehydrating the skin. A little-known tip is to add a few drops of peppermint essential oil to the soaking water. Menthol in mint not only creates a pleasant cool feeling but also has natural antibacterial and analgesic effects. Research from the University of Maryland shows that just 5 drops of peppermint essential oil in a foot bath can reduce the feeling of foot fatigue by up to 40% compared to a regular foot bath, while increasing blood circulation by 15%. In addition, another effective tip is to combine foot baths with simple exercises. While soaking your feet, try moving your toes, rotating your ankles in circles, and stretching your feet. These small movements can enhance the effectiveness of a foot bath by up to 25% in improving blood circulation. Finally, don't forget to moisturize your feet after soaking to avoid dry skin. Using a lotion containing vitamin E will help maintain moisture and promote foot skin health. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Vitality Solutions, for more valuable health tips and advice. Your support means the world to us. In summary, ignoring these simple tips for improving blood circulation to your feet can lead to severe health issues. Poor circulation can cause chronic pain, infections, and in extreme cases, even amputation. By following the advice in this video, you can enhance your overall well-being and avoid these dire consequences. Remember, it's a choice between a healthier life or facing potential medical emergencies that even doctors may struggle to manage. We've covered practical and easy-to-follow tips to boost your blood circulation, from dietary changes to simple exercises. Each step is designed to be straightforward and effective, ensuring you can integrate them into your daily routine without much hassle. The benefits of these changes include reduced pain, increased mobility, and overall improved health. Start by incorporating more physical activity into your day, staying hydrated, and eating a balanced diet rich in nutrients. Don't forget to elevate your feet and wear compression socks if necessary. Small changes can make a big difference, so take action today and notice the improvements. Now, the choice is yours. You can follow these simple steps and enjoy a healthier, more active life, or you can ignore them and risk serious health problems that could significantly impact your quality of life. Make the right choice for yourself and your loved ones. While you're waiting for our next video, check out these four recommended videos on the screen now. Each one is packed with tips and insights to help you live your healthiest life. Thank you so much for watching until the end. See you in the next video.